What's up friends, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me here again. Today I'm going to be reacting to another classic movie, Schindler's List. Again, this was chosen by those on my Patreon. If you'd like to be involved in deciding what I watch and react to, definitely consider checking out the link for that in the description. Also, just a few significant channel updates for my schedule going forward after this week. I'm going to have more of a set schedule of when I release things, certain types of movies and reactions. So going forward on Monday, I'm going to be reacting to movies that you guys and my Patreons choose that were released before 2000. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm going to start doing TV show reactions. And currently right now on my Patreon, people are deciding on which TV show I react to first. And so if you're interested in being a part of deciding that definitely check that out while you can the poll for that ends uh, in a couple of days and for everyone else not on the patreon i'm deciding whether i want to do one tv show at a time and do two episodes of that show a week or two tv shows at a time one episode or one show on tuesday one show on Thursday so it would just be one episode from the show each week but I'm not sure what everyone would prefer there so I'm going to leave two comments below one comment saying one TV show a week and another comment saying two TV shows a week so if you would prefer me react to just one show at a time two episodes a week just give a like to that comment if you would prefer two shows and one episode each uh, a week give a like to that comment and that will help me decide what the majority of you would prefer. So going on with the schedule on Wednesdays, I'm going to be reacting to movies from suggestions that were released 2000 or later. And then Fridays, I'm going to start doing movies that I've already seen, but that I really love and think maybe are underrated and just doing more of commentary tracks for those. And then Saturdays are going to be movie series days. So these could be movie series that I haven't seen at all, movie series that I have seen, or series that I've seen maybe like one or two movies from the series but not the others. And so each week, depending on which movie series is chosen, I'll be reacting to one movie from that series until it's finished, then we'll choose a new one to react to. And so currently on my Patreon, polls are up for each of these things for the next week and soon for the week after that and so definitely if you want to help decide what i react to especially tv shows or movie series since those could be going on for several months definitely check out my patreon link in the description and you can be involved in that decision and if you are already subscribed to the channel and liking the videos and commenting thank you so much that's definitely helped the channel help me out so much I'm grateful that there's so many of you here watching the videos now it means a lot and I'm excited to keep making these reactions for you all and if you're new to the channel definitely consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell so you know when I upload my next videos and for this video for Schindler's List I'm excited to watch this but at the same time I'm a little bit nervous just because the subject matter things that I've heard about the movie how realistic it can be and how it's not a movie that you necessarily enjoy watching or necessarily want to re-watch and so I'm optimistic though that I will very much enjoy the movie overall just from a filmmaking standpoint and just gaining a greater appreciation for the events that the movie covers as well so without further ado let's start watching Schindler's List. Oh wow, switch to black and white. Something I don't know about the movie is how much of the movie is based on actual events or actual people in their stories, or if it's just a dramatization of the events that happened. So that's something that I'll probably have to look up a little bit more after I watch, is if all the names and things used in the movie are based off of actual real people and their experiences. I haven't seen many earlier Liam Neeson movies. I don't know how many big movies he was in before this, but this could have been his kind of first big role. How are you doing? You leave a woman alone at the table in a place like this? <laughs> Suave. Come to the table, girls! Drink with us! 
black and white movies always accentuate the lighting either the skill or the lack of proper lighting but so far this definitely shows a lot of lighting skill so did liam neeson's character unite the entire room that's oscar schindler Oh, so Schindler is his name. <laughs> so freaking awful. It'd be so difficult to just pack up everything and go just like that. Everything you've worked for is just gone. And it's even horrible to see kids act like that because obviously they're being indoctrinated by their parents awful views it's just horrible to know that other people could have treated people that horribly and obviously there are some people that still treat each other that horribly how on earth could it possibly be worse <laughs> It takes some big, big people to be able to still have a good outlook during a situation like this. Are you listening? What was that about the SS? The rate? What? The Jewish worker's salary. You pay it directly to the SS, not to the worker. He gets nothing. But it's less. Jeez. It's less than what they would pay a pope. Why should I hire popes? I feel like Schindler is subtly trying to help Jews, because he mentioned, like, Oh, why hire these other guys when the Jews are cheaper? But at the same time, I feel like that's a subtle way of him just being able to hire Jews and give them opportunity. I don't know. I'm just guessing at this point. Got those six words a minute. You need the secretary to come. I don't know how. They're all so qualified. <laughs> Anticipating the enclosed bids will meet with your approval and looking forward to a long and mutually prosperous association I extend to you in advance my sincerest gratitude. This guy's got a good strategy going right now. Make a lot of friends in high places. I'm trying to thank you. I'm saying I couldn't have done this without you. He's probably not used to hearing that. 350 workers on the factory floor with one purpose. To make pots and pans? To make money. For me. Maybe it isn't just a subtle way of helping them out then. Maybe he is just doing it for money. And it makes all the difference in the world between success and failure. Luck. Whoa. Hmm. It's an interesting line. Promise me, Oscar, no two man or maitre d' will ever presume I'm anyone other than Mrs. Schindler, and I'll stay. Well, I guess gave the wrong answer. I continue to work hard for you. That's great. Thanks. God bless you, sir. All right. You're a good man. Oh, that's nice. It's a nice interaction. So maybe right now Schindler does think of them more as just workers or tools to gain riches. What's his use? Very useful. Oh, very useful. Success. So yeah, he definitely does not approve of just anybody. He just wants people who will be successful for him. I work for Oscar Schindler. Special worker for Oscar uh, Schindler. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Twice as useless. Man, I can't imagine just having that much of an evil heart. I mean, I'm I'm not perfect, but my gosh, man, that angers me so much. Few things more horrific than the things that happened during World War II. He was a metal press operator. Hey, that seems like a turning point for him. Gentlemen, thank you very much. I think I can guarantee you, you'll both be in southern Russia before the end of the month. Good day. Yes, throw the hammer down on him. Stan! 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 
<laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm smart. Oh, yes, no you're smart. One, you're a real genius. Right, you had your chance. Today, today, I actually found time to organize a thought. I can't remember the last time I did this. When's the last time we did this? When's the last time we stood around and talked? I love that little interaction. Hopefully we get to see some more interactions like that with just with normal people. It's kind of a double-edged sword because they're great interactions. You get to just see people living in these conditions and how they're dealing with it. But at the same time, if something happens to them later, then you're more emotionally attached to them. It makes it more difficult. My name is Diana Reiter. I'm a graduate of civil engineering from the University of Milan. Oh, I'm educated too, like Karl Marx himself. Unter Schaffjörer. Jawohl. Shoot her. What? Why? Sir, she's foreman of construction. We're not going to have arguments with these people. So awful. I want to comment on things like how great the shot composition and everything happening in the background is. It's hard to appreciate things like the filmmaking quality when the subject matter is so dark. But obviously if the filming quality was subpar then you wouldn't appreciate the emotional moments. So it definitely plays a big role. Oh, that's a haunting shot. Gosh, man. Why did they do that? It's just such senseless violence. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, dude. Deaths in this are so much harder to watch than just a normal movie because these things really happened and so it just is so much more sad to think about. Man, I can't comment on this. I'm trying so hard to keep my emotions from going wild. This is so heartbreaking. I just can't imagine that level of fear. There's just death and violence and hatred everywhere you turn. Thomas, <laughs> join the lines, little Polish picking soldier. <laughs> kind of also feel bad for the actors having to portray that. That must not have been easy for them. Hopefully he's starting to have a bit of a change of heart. Oh wow. Some color there with the red jacket. The cover of the copy of the movie that I have has kind of black and white with a red, with a girl with a red coat. I didn't think that was an actual shot from the movie. I thought that was just some correction they did for the graphic design. Just absolutely pure evil. Let's hope with the advancement of technology and the connectivity of the world that we never have to go through something as terrible as this again. Dang it. Oh, that's so sad. Some haunting filmmaking right there. What is this? Is this Is this Bach? So disturbing having that music play over the scenery that we're seeing, the imagery. What a horrifyingly yet great shot. I feel bad saying any shots in this are well done and well made because it feels, it makes you feel gross to compliment anything even though the filmmakers didn't do anything bad. They're just depicting what happened but... It's a very difficult film to analyze. To think there's three hours of this as well. The worst is over. We are workers now. Somehow I don't believe that. Just for tying her shoe. 
No, don't even. Oh my gosh, man, that's so freaking evil. What point do you have to reach to where you can just pick off human beings like they're wild animals that you're hunting? You lost weight only in the shoulders. Please, everybody, sit down, sit down. How are you doing? Oscar Schindler. This piece of garbage. Every day that goes by, I'm losing money. Every worker that is shot costs me money. I have to find somebody else. I have to train them. We're going to be making so much money. None of this is going to matter. It's bad business. I hope he's just saying that because he's talking in front of an officer, not because he means it just only bad from a business side. Yeah, even in shots like that, it's so, so sad. The level of disdain people had. Make me a hint. Yes, sir. He's gonna kill him because he doesn't do it fast enough, isn't he? This is the most possible pressure you could ever feel doing a job. Basically, life or death. What I don't understand is that you've been working since. I think what about six this morning. Yet such a small pile of hinges. Oh jeez. Oh please someone stop him. Oh Christ. Oh my gosh, this scene is horrible. Click it was the angle of it, the pin. Maybe it's the pin. Maybe the pin shot. Yeah, come on. Just what did I just say? Yeah. The filmmakers are just toying with our emotions. Well, that's a miracle for that guy. He's very, very blessed. Also, that was a very, very well done scene right there. So much tension. Since the guy survived there at the end, I can at least appreciate the filmmaking quality in that scene. 